Hello, fourth grade students from all over Costa Rica. Welcome to Learning at Home. I'm Teacher Graven, and you are going to learn English today with me. Now, one question for you. What day is today? Friday, yes. What day was yesterday? Thursday. And what day will be tomorrow? Saturday, correct. Okay, and how do you feel? You feel great? Good. Well, we were supposed to have a classmate. Hmm, let's find it. It's right here. Hello, what is your name? My name is Daniela. Daniela. Somebody told me you ask too many questions. Is that right? Yes, somebody told me that. Are you ready to explore, learn, and have lots of fun? Yes! And this is the right place to be. Did you wash your hands already? Pilar, Jason, Wendy, Henry, did you wash your hands already? Nope. Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds. So please go and wash your hands. Meanwhile, today we are going to watch some videos from YouTube in order to learn English. Those videos are used only for educational purposes. And as you can see, we are in a flood and I'm a firefighter just like my friend Adrian. Right, Adrian? <laughs> Good morning. Hello, by the way. Okay, so do you have your pencil ready? Do you have your notebook ready? Yes? Okay, so we are about to start. We are going to watch a video from UNICEF and Paola is going to explain some simple instructions about what to do in case of an emergency, okay? So pay attention to Paola. Hello, Paola. Hi guys, how are you? That was a little scary, a small earthquake, and that's because our country is seismic. Since we're little, we are taught to be prepared for earthquakes. So here are some tips in case there is an earthquake. First, don't run. Stay away from windows, glass, mirrors, or objects that can fall on you. Number two, you must listen to your parents and be safe with them. Number three, it's important to have water, canned food. What? Number three, it's important to have water, canned food. And finally, have a battery radio to listen to the news. Prepare and practice an evacuation plan with your family and read these safety tips. See you soon, guys. Be careful. Oh, oh, gotta be safe. Thank you so much, UNICEF and Paola, for that wonderful video. I have a question for you. Now, what should we do in case of an emergency? Well, we may have some water in bottles and canned food. Yes, we have to be prepared. But don't worry, we have our firefighter team ready, just in case. And Teacher Graven, uh, are we going to review what we learned last week? Yes, we are going to review that. I almost forgot it. So let's review what we learned last week about calling the 911. Okay, we have some expressions. Let's see. So the operator, the person who is answering the phone, is going to say, This is 911. What is your emergency? How can I help you? 
And the person or the child is going to answer, I need help. My sister needs help. Where does it hurt? Says the operator. My leg hurts or my arm hurts. Just in case. The operator will say, an ambulance is coming to you. A police officer is coming to help you. Those are examples. The operator is going to ask these questions. What is your emergency? What's your name? Where do you live? Are you alone? Who is hurt? Where does it hurt? Okay. And the person that is calling or the kid is going to say, for example, there is a flood. My name is Priscilla. I live in Alajuela or in Heredia. No, my mother is here. My mother is hurt or her arm hurts. And remember, this number is not for fun, okay? The 911 is not for fun, okay? Don't forget that. And mm, 911, what is your emergency? Okay, <laughs> so remember to practice that at home and don't play with that number. Teacher Griffin, what are we going to learn today? Oh, that's a very nice question. Let's see our lesson goals for today. What we are going to learn. <gasps> that's an earthquake. Correct. That is an earthquake. So let's see our lesson goals. Today we have a reading activity and a spoken production activity. And of course, our reading, our reading phonemic awareness activity. We are going to recognize short text messages as well as short greetings. We are going to state simple step um, directions or commands using words and phrases in conversation, in conversations, dialogues or oral presentations. And we are going to produce and read English sounds like the ED final sound or the ING final sound. Okay? And uh, remember a riddle for today. Don't forget to ask your English teachers um, your family or friends. It goes like this. Find cover under a table. Stay away from windows and cover your head. If we follow these instructions, we'll be, we will be safe from this natural disaster. What is it? Hmm. We are going to have the answer at the end. And what can we do to survive a natural disaster? What can we do? Mm, we have to be prepared in advance. We need to be prepared just in case we have an emergency. Don't forget that. Okay, I'm going to place Daniela right here. And she's going to pay attention, okay? Now, we are going to play a game, okay? <laughs> we are going to have an active pause for you at home. Now, I want you to please stand up. When I say rescue team, like this, rescue team, you are going to stand up and put your arms down like you are going to help somebody. And if I say survivor team, you are going to sit down and put your hands up in the air like you need someone to rescue you. Okay? Once again. If I say rescue team, you stand up and put your hands down like helping someone. And if I say survivor team, we are going to sit down and put your hands up because you need to be rescued. Okay, here we go. Let's practice at home. Let's say rescue team, stand up and put your hands down. And you are going to rescue someone. Now, survivor team, sit down and put your hands up. Okay, once again, rescue team, uh -huh. survivor team, okay, I'm going to do it faster, rescue team, uh -huh. you were supposed to stand up and put your hands down, survivor team, rescue team, survivor team, rescue, survivor, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Daniela, did you like the game? Yes, I did. Mm. Okay. Now, 
Uh, do you remember some natural disasters? I would like to review them. Okay, we're going to have a game. And let's have this presentation. Okay, we are going to recognize some natural disasters. So this one is the reading activity. As I told you, the rescue team are the ones who help people. And the survivors are people who are in need when there is a natural disaster. Okay, now, what type of natural disaster is this? Mm, let's take a look at this picture. <gasps> what is that, Daniela? Is that an earthquake or a flood? Well, looks like an earthquake. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Yes, oh, and we have this friend, this firefighter from the rescue team. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, earthquakes damage houses in Costa Rica every year. Rescue teams help survivors of earthquakes. Bye. Mm, thank you very much, Mr. Firefighter. And what about that picture? Okay, Daniela, what natural disaster could that be? Well, there's too much water. Mm, a flood? Okay, let's see what he has to say. We have some, um, some people from, from the rescue team. Let's see what they have to say. Hi, floods damage communities in Costa Rica. Water is everywhere. Rescue teams help survivors of floods. See you. Hmm. That's very important. Okay, so in case of an emergency, remember to help other people. And if we have an emergency, do we need something or anything? Yes, we need something. We need an emergency kit. <gasps> an emergency kit? Yes, emergency kit. And what is that? Mm, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to place you right here, Daniela. For example, in, in my family, we have this emergency kit. Mm, isn't it little? It was supposed to be bigger, but don't worry. I have too many things in this bag. For example, Daniela and students, I'm going to take out some things that we need for this emergency kit. Okay, ready? Let me see. Uh, hmm? Hmm? Let's see what we have. Uh, uh, uh. We have some toilet paper. Hmm. Also, we have some matches. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, we have some batteries. Those are very important. And also, we have... Hmm? More toilet paper. Mm, it's very useful. Uh, we have canned food. Mm, we're going to be uh, needing this for three days. Also, we have uh, more toilet paper, mm, just in case. We have a candle. Mm. What is this? Let me see. Uh, more toilet paper. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's see what else. Ugh. We have a whistle, just in case. We have, let me see. Ugh. More toilet paper, Jesus Christ. Who packed this? And also we have, let me see. Oh, oh we had a flashlight. Ooh, look, Ooh, a flashlight, just in case. And this one, Ugh. come on, more toilet paper, Jesus Christ. And finally, we have a cell phone or a radio just in case, and more toilet paper. <laughs> okay, now, do you have an emergency kit at home? Yes or no? Okay, let's have this presentation in order to see some items the family puts in the emergency kit. 
Here we go. What can you do in case of different natural disasters? Let's see. Remember, before that, to raise. Okay, these words are very important. Raise objects. Put them on the table or on a bed. In case of a flood, we need to turn off either the electricity or the water. Turn off. Then we have to place important documents. Uh -huh. We have to stay away from windows, not close to windows. <gasps> what can we do? Oh, we cover our heads in case of an earthquake. And let's read some texts about safety measures in case of an emergency or a natural disasters. So, in case of a flood, we have to raise objects on beds or tables. We have to turn off electricity and water as well, and place important documents and medical supplies into a waterproof case. In case of an earthquake, first you cover your head and we find cover under a table. And of course, stay away from windows. That's very important. And, and uh, let's practice, okay? We're going to have a practice about this. Now, in case of a flood, what can we do? Let's see, we have some answers. Okay, we have some answers. And we have three things we may do, we might do. Raise objects, cover your head, or turn off electricity. Daniela, what can you do in case of a flood? Let me see, raise objects, and turn off electricity. Let's see the answers. Okay, let's see the answers. Oh, the first one was right. Raise objects and turn off electricity. Now, in case of an earthquake, what should we do? Do we raise objects, cover your head, or stay away from windows? Mm, let me see. Cover your head and stay away from windows. Okay, let's see the answers. Oh, very good. Cover your head and, of course, stay away from windows. Good. Well done. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, let's have a spoken production or spoken interaction. The emergency kit. Remember what I showed you before about the things we are going to need. Okay, so let's see some examples about that. Okay. Now, we are going to have a presentation. Re remember I showed you canned food, candles, batteries, toilet paper, very important, the flashlight, batteries, and a telephone or radio, just in case. And we are going to prepare that for three days. Now, let's have this presentation about the emergency kit. What their family puts in the emergency kit. And remember, it's important to prepare even for three days. What does your family put in the emergency kit, Daniela? Mm, well, my father puts bottles with water in the emergency kit. That's very important. My brother puts batteries in a radio in the emergency kit. Uh-huh. My mother puts some non-perishable food in the emergency kit. Mm -hmm. That's very important. My grandmother puts some blankets in the emergency kit. Uh-huh. My sister puts some toilet paper. Very important. A flashlight, a candle, matches and a whistle in the emergency kit. Mm. Now, I have a question for you, Daniela, and your classmates at home. 
what should you include in the emergency kit? We have some examples. We have non-perishable food, matches, a candle, a flashlight and batteries, bottles of water, a toilet paper, a whistle and blankets. Now, you have to choose only five things that you are going to use. Let me see. Can I circle them? Yes, you may circle them. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, let's see what you chose. Okay, canned food, toilet paper, a whistle, bottles of water, or uh, blankets. Very good, Daniela, amazing, great job. <laughs> now, don't forget, and let's prepare an emergency kit for three days. And another question for you. What should you, uh, what should your family include in it? Hmm. What can you include in the emergency kit? What can you do? Mm, I think I need some help. Mm, you need help. I know what to do. What about if we have friends, special guests? Yes, we have two students and they are going to explain what their family did, okay? Now, please welcome Maria Celeste Picado Camacho and Nathan Aguirre Valverde. Hello, Celeste and Nathan. Hello, teacher Gravina classmates. How do you do? I am Maria Celeste Picado Camacho. I go to Cervatana Elementary School in Mercedes Sur, Purisca, San Jose. My family is ready with an emergency kit in case of a natural disaster. What show we include? We must be prepared. What show we include? Fair, my mother put some non perishable food in the emergency kit. Also, my grandmother put some blankets in the emergency kit. Let's be prepared in case of a natural disaster. Now, I have some questions for you. Does your family have an emergency kit? Do you include some non perishable food? Thanks, teacher Gravy and classmates. Take care. Hello, teacher Gravy and classmates. How do you do? I am Nathan Aguirre Valverde. I go to Sanita Elementary School in Arrita, Sydney. Family is ready with the in case of actual disaster. What should we include? We must take good coffee. What should we do? Perhaps my fire put two bottles of water in the emergency kit. Then my bird put a flashlight in the emergency kit. Let's be prepared in case of a national disaster. Now, I have some question for you. Does your family have an emergency kit? Do you include bottles of water? Thank you, teacher. You have me so long. Thank you so much, Maria Celeste and Nathan, and also your family for all your help. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, do you remember what they say? What they said? Yes, we have to be prepared with our emergency kit with water, food, blankets, flashlight. Mmm, that's very important. What is that? Mmm, you know what time is it? No. It's letters and sounds time. And remember, we are going to practice the final sounds ED and ING. Let's have this presentation, please. Okay, the ending sounds ED and ING. So, the ED is a final sound and it means it happened in the past. That is why we have the red arrow. The ING final sound uh, means that it is happening right now. It's the blue arrow, okay? The blue arrow. Let's have these examples. Watch, watched, watching. 
Davis is watching the weather. That is why we have a blue arrow. David watched the weather. We have a red arrow. Let's see the other example. Pay, pain, and paid. In the blue arrow, David is paying attention to the warnings. And let's see, let's have this uh, practice, okay? We have two sentences. As, sorry, Antonia, Antonia is following instructions and Antonia followed the instructions. The blue arrow is in following and the red arrow in followed. Let's see the answers for that. Correct, okay? Very good, well job, well done. Okay, now, what about, and today we don't have stars, today we have emergency kits. Let's see how many emergency kits we have today. In the self-evaluation, oh, we got three emergency kits. That's good. And remember the riddle. What is it? Mm, an earthquake. Yes, that was the answer. So thank you very much. Remember, next Friday at 9.30, Channel 4. I'm Teacher Engraving, and I'm Daniela. See you next week. Take care.